Hi everyone, it's Marlene Boyle from Remax Jazz with the next episode of Know Your Neighborhood. Hi everyone, it's Marlene Boyle from Remax. Today I'm going to be showing you a few beautiful trails in the Durham region. These trails offer scenic views and are perfect for a wonderful nature walk, especially now that the leaves are changing colors. First, we have the Bowmanville Valley Trails. There are several ways you can find this trail. We parked at the Bowmanville Creek South Parking Lot just on Baseline Road. But you can also find entrances on the corner of Spry or Nelson Street, and it even follows the creek all the way up to Rotary Park. I love the bridge crossing the creek that gives you a great view of the water. These trails are paved with lanes, making them perfect for biking. This is a go-to spot for many fishermen, and you can see the fish splashing around in the creek. Next up are the trails near Camp 30. There's a catwalk along Sprucewood Crescent that'll lead you to some paved bike trails with lanes. There's also an entrance to the path via Lambs Road. If you're entering from Sprucewood Crescent, you'll end up at a bridge that has a great view of the creek. Keep going up the hill and you'll see the historic buildings of Camp 30. You'll notice no trespassing signs, so make sure you stay on the path. Our next location is in Whitby at the Heber Down Conservation Area. This would be a beautiful place for a picnic. The changing leaves looked amazing here. As you're walking, you might notice the model airplanes in the sky. Heber Down is right next to the Whitby Air Modelers RC Club. A twisting path goes down a hill where you'll see a beautiful pond. The next destination is Lakefront West Park in Oshawa. This trail goes on for quite some time and connects to several parks stretching across the lakeside. This trail is great for biking as well with beautiful lookout points. The next area is Lynn Shores in Whitby, which is a very popular one for locals. It's usually busy, so the best time to go would be in the morning before 10 a.m. There's lots of wildlife to see here, and you might even be lucky enough to see some deer. There's a bridge overlooking the water and many ducks and other birds that you can feed, so make sure to bring some seed with you. Lastly, we have the McLaughlin Bay Wildlife Reserve in Oshawa. Here you'll find a gorgeous view of the water. If you're a jogger, this is a great place for a run. I came across a baby snapping turtle, and if you're lucky, you might see some wildlife too. Stay tuned for some more Know Your Neighborhood videos coming soon. Have a great day.